To get started with your website, go to www.wix.com and you're going to press the button to get started. You want to continue with Google, so make sure that you continue with your Google ID. I've already logged in, I've joined, so my site will look a little different than yours, but um, it's going to ask you to get started and you're going to press get started. When you do that, you're going to see a series of white screens appear with some text on it. You'll notice there's a skip in the right hand side. I want you to press skip and press it again until you get to a screen that looks like this. It's going to give you a choice. This is very, very important. You want to make sure to create your website with the editor and select edit a template. So make sure to choose that. Then you're going to search in the templates on the right hand side for a, temp a template called John Roberts. When you type it, hit return or enter, and you will see John Roberts appear over here. You're going to press edit. So again, it looks like this, the little dude down there in the circle, press edit. You'll see when it loads, it looks something like this. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to save your website. So press save. You'll see this is your website address. This is what people are going to type in when they want to see your website. So customize the back end of it. You might want to put your name. Um, I'm just going to type. Oops, you have to add at least four characters. I'm just going to type Mrs. White. Put something professional. Do not type a word that is unprofessional. This website here, this is what people will type to see your website. So let's press save and continue. It's important to note that Wix does not save automatically, so you need to press save Quite a bit of time. So I'm going to press done. So again, every five minutes, I want you to come up here and press save. I know it says auto save, but I've had a lot of problems with um, when the system crashes with students. Um, they lost their work, so make sure to press the save button about every five minutes. So the first thing we need to do is set up our navigation system. So let's come on over here to your pages on the left hand side and I want you to pick Manage Pages and click that. Let's go down to the bottom and add a page. You want to add a blank page. So up here in the upper left, add a blank page. You have the opportunity to rename it. Let's rename it About. Note that I am using all capital letters so it matches with home. When you are done, click done. I want to add another page, so click the button at the bottom, add page. You want another blank page. So let's click, um, we're going to type projects, and again, all capital letters so it matches and hit done. We are going to add a fourth page. So let's hit add page. Again, this is going to be a blank page. And this one we're going to title blog and hit done. Um, so I'm going to close this window with the X. We want to hit save and we're going to publish now. So look where it says publish. The difference is saving it saves your work. Publishing it, I won't see any changes. The teacher, me, I won't see any changes until you hit publish now. So whenever you save, you always, please make sure that you're publishing your website. That way I can see your um, changes. When you publish it, you're going to get a website highlight this website and hit Command C 
to copy it, hit done. Um, we'll edit our site for mobile in a minute, but I want you to go over next to your Google Classroom. And I want you to go to the Wix website assignment and you're going to paste Wix website with Wix part one. I want you to open this assignment and paste your website address into this assignment. Every time you do an, an update on your website, I'm going to ask you to paste this address into the into your Google Classroom assignment. So please go ahead and hit Control P to paste this website address in your assignment now.